Hello, and welcome back to the Darkest Dungeon 2. We're ready to go to the Sprawl. Oh. Cruelty and callousness have claimed dominion here. And we're getting a cat fight. We will become vulnerable if we use flashing daggers. Uh, we don't use Howling End though with Boudicca, so we don't care. <laughs> we literally need not care. Uh, so just be careful about you know, around using flashing daggers. Right. Let us see. Behold, the great cities of man. There's the boss there. And a flame. Right. To go to the boss layer, we will have to go left here. Until then, we can go to a bunch of resistance encounters. Um, we might lose some wheels. At least we know what's over here. I don't mind getting in a few fights. We should have adequate time to recover ourselves going along here to there. Right. Okay. Let's see what happens then. So, okay, two of them have got little crowns, so they've been buffed up. Um, and we're trying to not use flashing daggers if possible. Get the shaman. Got some blight on him. Oh no. This is a pain. Right. <coughs> Okay, we're going to have to sort out our skills after this. Um, what's happened, if you haven't noticed, because those skills are marked as ones that they're envious of, even though we didn't have them equipped, it's auto-equipped them. I'll, I'll be honest, I think of all the systems I've seen so far in the game, I think this is the most irritating one. Because it's, it's just kind of... I don't know, it just seems dumb. I just... Uh, like trying to make it like, oh, they're envious of these skills, and uh, yeah, but I'm not even used to those skills. You know, I never had this equipped. How she? It makes no sense. Yet it's making me now. It's forcing me to use skills I don't like. I don't like it when it tries to force my hand on playing a certain way. You know, to disadvantage me. It's like, no, I'm meant to be. You know, I'm the person who's building my part and choosing the uh, gear and equipment and skills, not the game. That's not so much a challenge as it's just a nuisance. Hmm. Not fond of that. Right. Oh, he actually got fire inflicted on her. I think one of his challenges here was, was to get Noxious Blast and used twice end. in a single fight, so we might as well use that here. Oop. Right. In this world, wealth is worthless without oh, purpose. Look. More of those. Yeah, we can make our party weaker and weaker by removing all their health, but we'll go fast. The 
loathing whispers. Okay. We're coming up to another fight. This one will probably be a bit more difficult since it's an actual proper encounter, not just a little barricade of road and that. Okay, this time we can go into the fight with, an, uh, with a combat advantage. Some speed and strength. Now will that be just for her or will it be for the whole party, I wonder? Hail enemies! Oh, they've all got resistances. That's nasty. And it's just for her. Okay. Light, lovely. See, this would be where clashing daggers would be quite nice. So I can get rid of that dodge chance. Okay. So what did it remove? It removed Wicked Hack, didn't it? And put Howling End on. That's not awful. That that could work actually. Right. Right, um yeah, just get the big guy because we've got well we were supposed to have like loads of strength and things, but I guess it didn't mean much in the end. Can we hit this with five? Yes, right. We can let that just ride then. I'll probably just die on their own. Right. The foster's on him now. has activated. That's going to bleed out then. Love that. Yeah, resistance to all this stuff in my backside. <laughs> What the hell they have? Okay. Ooh, get them both. Lovely. Malaise. Measured and steady. Now oh, we can't hit him with tracking shots at the front. We can put the post on the up. The post repost, whatever it is. I mean, we can use Noxious Blast on a corpse, we'll just have to use it twice, right? <laughs> Damn. still lingers in some of these well-worn relics. Right. The loathing abates. What was that one? Uh, debuff resistance goes down. Okay. Um... We can throw that on them. Um, what else do we have? 
Nothing that great. Combat encounter coming up. And afterwards, we want to turn left. Okay, let's see what we've got. Going on with additional strength. Just go in or go in with. That's stealth, isn't it? Try a stealthy approach then. See what that gets us. Impervious enemies. Stun resistance and oh death's door resistance. Ugh. So yeah, they're they're more likely to just not die, right. Ignores dodge when they are stealthed. Well then. to open it. Ounce of prevention first. Always try to remember Collaboration that. Confers advantage. Order thing. things here. Yeah? Right. So just out of curiosity now. Let's have a look. 105 resistance. 180. 80. Yeah, none of us are getting burned. Not happening. Right. Let's get them. A breakthrough. <laughs> He's going to go into the boss now. Okay. Ooh, not good, not good. Poison darts, methinks. The fiend's strength dwindles. Yeah, they've got a lot of death blow resistance. Okay. Dodge, counter, um. Uh, right, let's get this not just blast going. So we just have to use that a few times to do their goal. Which we'll try to do. Uh, we'll bleed him out, I guess. We can't hit him with tracking shot since he's moved up now. A miscalculation, perhaps. Right. He's nearly out of dodges and boss and things, so. And he's back in the middle. We should be able to hit him a bit better now. So, of course, he's going to keep spamming that move. Great, so. We probably want to avoid that if possible. Um well, let's just not just blast him. If we let our if our Hellion gets hurt more, yeah, we'll be able to use adrenaline rush. We can use tracking shot. Um, bound him some full, so why not? Eh? Oh no! And you're blighted now. Very 
refusing to die and they're going to for a while. Yeah, but it's slowly ticking their resistance to it down. Um, right. Let's bleed this one out. Malaise. Measured and steady. A breakthrough. Oh, that's really hurt. Ooh. Bad. That's why we bought the burning salve. And it's why we've equipped adrenaline. There remains a foothold out of this mire. <laughs> now climb. And now We've lost all of our winded stacks. So we do still have the uh, weak, but we're now healing for each hit for a few turns. So she's gonna go straight back up to full practical here. A little help impeccably timed. He's struggling. Each turn is getting death's door. Has he got four? Yeah, that's gonna need something to do into it. The death resistance on both of them is low. There we go. Persistence will overcome even the greatest of threats. A bit winded, but in this weighty gloom, a spark. There's a hero goal complete. Think carefully. Now remember, we have to Today's go oversight. to the left. As much Just as I would actually regret. like to go to the hospital, we have to do the layer. We're in a decent spot. We may wish to disengage from this upcoming fight to give us some uh, recovery time. Can we disengage without... We'll take a bit of stress damage. I think we do it. We've got a layer coming up. We don't want to underestimate it. The hero goal. It's just telling me that I've completed that first one. Right? Layer. Here we go. Much more preparation going into this. Much, much more than last time. Now before we just roll in, let's have a look at our items. So we've got a combat as well coming beforehand. All that matters um, is the flickering torch you bear. Take that off. Plus Audrey here is down to one. So she can carry two. So Dismas can have the medicinal herbs. Um, I'm not really getting blighted here. I'm going to take the glimmer and put up. Um, light is doing not bad, but we can use it here. Right. Looking good, looking good. I hope it's a relatively easy fight. The ones on the road usually are. Yep. This shouldn't be too bad. A master stroke. Okay, one's already gone. <laughs> a breakthrough. Ooh.
Oh god. Okay, he ain't doing too good. We could use this as an opportunity to try and heal up a little as well if we want. Um, Careful about it, that is. Eight for three turns. Malaise. Measured and steady. Now we move him out. Got him. Yes, we we'll heal up. He's weakened. And he's just going on guard. Get some spring water on him. Lenity. Get rid of that Great. stress. Small acts that drive back the darkness. Get the death blow. There we go. A simple variable. I think we might have actually got easily a bit of resolved back from all that. In this world, wealth is worthless without purpose. Right, so combat items, taking the, because I think he does blind you, I think there are ways that he blinds you, but I'm just wondering what we would take it instead of. Um, Should have really used for glimmers of hope then, and then I should have equipped it with our torch being brighter. It's probably what I should have done, but oh well. Centuries Here we go. And achievement ruined by riotous contempt. In we go then. Right, first thing we want is an ounce of prevention. Burns. And with it, if the remains of to philosophy get, uh, to put on. reason and insight. 50% chance that he dodges it. Unfortunate, but it does set us up to then hit him like this. Now he is powered up as well, he's got a little crown icon. We definitely want him gone as quick as we can. Right, ounce of prevention on. We are basically immune Empowered. to most Empowered. states effects that we hit us with. Fire in particular. You can't count if it's dead. Damn it, we missed. <laughs> Damn. Okay, we've got the dodge, block, the mega dodge, and we definitely want them back dead. That should An get rid of it. A bit left. Go on. Right, dodge is over. Nearly got him. Oh, he's getting annoyed. Look out. That will do nothing. <laughs> uh, oh, it lowers fire resistance. Ooh, that's actually quite nasty. So we want him to be... Bleed damage. Uh, bleed resistance is not great on the murder. 
Oh, he is not going to be happy about that. Poison. Okay. And... Death Blow. A deliberate and methodical appliance of harm. Right. Second round. Hmm. Got two big blocks. Um and the player's got a load of dodge. I don't want to be winding myself over it, so... Right. It's not a block, but it's the blight that counts. Right. So if I want the emulators going, I'm probably announcing the convention just to be sure. Right. The slow suffering begins. Not great. Your violence Damn, it actually got some fire damage to me. That's unlikely to happen, but it has. Three over four turns. Hmm. That's worth using it on, I think. Get that light going. That should finish those off with the blight. Yeah. Um. A miscalculation, yeah. perhaps. Not really as much. Really doing a number. <laughs> it's got the cost, well guess what we have now as well. So ha. Um Um, right. Chance of Don Jenny. Um, just put this one. Oh, two turns. Okay, they're gonna die. They'll just eventually go. We don't need to worry about them. And we don't need to worry about that one either. Right. going. <laughs> Use that on yourself then. Oh, oh dear. That's no good. Um. Ow.
Parade Docks could be in a better spot. But not bad. Not bad at all. He teeters madly upon 30, his ladder, 45, and reveling 30 in the fiery time. destruction of So he's not just going to insta go to the third one. Right. And 16. Let's build up the blind. The next turn will heal this mass. Although both could probably use it. Yeah, let's a calculated get a bit of healing day. and burn them. What a welcome them. one, nonetheless. There's a dodge, unfortunately. My Iron Swan will no longer be effective. Two over three turns. Mm. Oh, these don't actually heal much, right? Um, in that case... We need to heal up. And of course it cures them as well. So we've graded it, so that's good. Worked 86. I want to be doing a bit better than this. Um, we'll use. Hmm. Use how long just to move his back one. Oh god, why did it have to crit? Need these blights to start landing. Got him to 76. We're getting there. We can set him up for combos at least with this mass from the front. Oh dear. Right. Absinthe, no, it's not quite time for Absinthe yet. If we move back here, though, our turn, uh, well, our party order's not bad. Right. This mass has to move up. Well done. There we go. 60, we're not bad, we're not bad. Um, we're getting a bit close though. 55. 
I think we make it. I think we make it. He says as he gets vulnerable and blind on everyone. Uh, we've just got to An opportunity make it squandered. A bit more. Plague Doctor can do with him like an extra turn each round. Oh dear. <clears throat> a master stroke. And that's with ounce of prevention and a heat shield on. Right. Now this will remove the dodge. But hitting him will just remove a dodge and there's a chance to do damage, so yeah. He's down to 40. We need to stop missing. And now oh, the greatest test of that all. is not good, right. Um You need to that's not good either. We have to kill him in basically a turn or two right now on practically no health. So they can self heal. That's fine. Right? Plague Doctor Nothing has just can died. Survive such a wholesale organic <laughs> failure. He's now ready to absolutely pummel us. We're gonna die. Yep. There goes one. Every road must end. Finally landing some of these blights. She heals, she smacks him, hits us, she ignores the fire, just coughs. Oh! There's a slim chance. Well, there's a chance. Ah, if it bleeds, ah, he, need to be, he needed to be further back, so we can do not a lot here. We need to move forward, and then... This is not great. And the burning. Brows, unsteady stances. Exhaustion takes hold. She'll eventually go at this rate. Yeah, there it is. An uncertain absolution. So many turns, why? He's slowly going. Got some dodge from the absence. We can do it. HP. We've got a dodge chance. There it is. Oh. 
that's going to come down to the next turn. There it is. And an abrupt end. Try and try again. I would love you to know what I'm doing wrong there. Blooming murk. I would love to know. Right, I might just try something different then. We'll try different heroes. Stagnant and sprawling. This hellish abyss extends I might try the uh, I might try the tangle boss instead, see what we can do on them. Right. Hmm. So the living These city, are yeah. beaten, broken souls. And yet our fortunes ride with them. Hmm. Rather than unlock more, let's see what we can do to the ones we have. So, death resistance upgrade. Um, trinket that will give us melee skills. Uh, on crit, melee skills do 60% more damage. If it bleeds, skills plus 2. Uh, bleed dealt. Uh, okay, so. Interesting. Ravager path. Max HP. More damage in rank 1. Bleed resistance pierce. Oh, less bleed resistance piercing. And there's just a chance that they bleed at the start of the turn. Hmm. Planet, break from skills, combo, and add one negative token. Rank 1 gives them disease, less disease resistance. Rank 2 gives them uh, damage. Yeah. Odd. What could we get here? I'm not sure if... Yeah, I'm trying to think if upgrading them would be that great. To recall a thing is to make it real once more. What could we get? Um... I'd like um, a diamond horde of twelve relics. Okay. Um, Academics cash. Free random item. In. That's the one I'd like. I'd like wealth. I think we can definitely do. Yeah, wealth and sanctuary seem pretty good. We would need 40 to get that. Respite's pretty good. Um. Eh. I think definitely the Wealth, Sanctuary and Respite are probably the big ticket items there that we want. Um, we can grab this though for now. Slowly make our way up. 
Okay. Unfortunately, that will be it there for that run. Um, next time, we'll try it with a different, with a different party composition, and I might go for the tangle. See if I can have more luck there. Because I'm not having any luck with the sprawl, even with honestly, that was the clearly the best prepared, uh, the best prepared run I'd had for it. You know, I'd got a strategy and everything. We were executing it, and it, it was just absolutely pummeling us. Every hit, every turn is taking two, three uh, HP off us, and well, not to, it's taking. So he's getting like two or three hits on us, and reducing all our heroes to barely any health. The plague doctor's not even keeping up with the heals. You know, so they couldn't even get any blight uh, applied on him. Um. We quickly burn through our items that remove uh, burning and just died. So, hmm. Question is, where do we go from there then? Maybe we rely less on like cheesy status effects and things and we just go for a straight up tanky hard hitting squad yeah just raw power and see where we go anyway thank you very much for watching this has been darkest dungeon 2 and i'll see you in the next episode i'll see you then